Hey y'all, so today I'm going to be making another ornament. That's right, for the Halloween tree. This time it is candy corn. Sparkly, glittery candy corn. <laughs> because I don't do scary, y'all. I just don't. Sparkly, uh, glitter, you know, lots of bling. That's me. So that's what we're going to be making today. And I got these uh, adorable little candy corn um, shakes. They have a sticky back. And everybody just thought like a thin cardboard is what they are. But that saved me having to draw it out and cut it out of wood myself or, you know, thick paper or, you know, cardboard, whatever. So I'm going to be using those orange, white, and yellow paint, orange, white, and yellow glitter, and some Mod Podge. That's it. Oh, and a piece of orange felt. So anyway, let's go ahead and get this cute candy corn ornament started. So this is the little candy corn pattern that we're using. You see it is very, very, very thin. It's just a little cardboard material. But what I'm hoping that happens is when I paint these, that they'll kind of buckle just a little bit and give me more of a rounded ornament, just a little bit. It doesn't have to be a lot, but that's what I'm hoping. I don't know for sure what they'll do, but I'm gonna place uh, three of them. And that's about how many I can get on here. And I'm gonna place three on here, trace them out. And then, um, I will, let's see, I hope three is gonna fit. Yes. They're gonna, it's gonna fit. I'm going to trace them out, cut out the felt. Then at, after I've got the ornament all done, I can uh, adhere this to the back. That way I don't have to paint it or, or anything like that. It'll just have a nice soft back. So, oh, and let me tell you, by the way, these pins are so amazing. It's called a friction. It's made by a pilot pin, but it has a little eraser on the end. But also, if you sew, this is what I use to mark my material with because after you put all your markings on and you've got everything pinned in place, if you iron it, it disappears. Oh my goodness, that's just a little, little tidbit there for some of you sewers out there. But I'm just gonna go around here and then I'll cut out my little candy corn shape. And we'll have our backings all cut out and ready to go. set these aside because we'll be using them later. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, draw on here kind of where I want my lines to be so I can separate my uh, white, orange, and yellow paint. And I am going to do like a, just a standard, you know, candy corn the way it looks. Just with a little round white top and then an orange middle and a yellow bottom. And there's no precise way to do this. I'm just doing it, you know, the way that I want to. <laughs> now on this one, um, I'm going to change it just a little bit just to kind of give it a different look just because you know It's my Halloween tree. So there you go So I'm just going to put everything at a slant. So this is the white and then right here is the orange You guys may hear a saw Hammering and all that stuff, but my husband is replacing um, our railing and stuff on our deck and our on our steps So if you hear us like the saws and hammering, that's all it is. So anyway, um, so I've got my pieces I just drew out uh, How I kind of wanted to paint everything so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the white first so white orange and yellow Now this will take a couple of coats even though this is already white I just put a couple of coats on it anyway, and, and I'm gonna be painting the edges because they will be showing, so paint the edges as well. And it doesn't really have to be perfect because you're going to be putting glitter all over this and making it a sparkly candy corn. My kind of candy corn. So I let it dry a little bit and then I'll put another coat on it. Okay, so there's a dry. Now we'll go ahead and paint on the orange color. Okay, let this dry for a little while. And I'll add a couple more coats. Now it's time for the yellow. Uh, 
Okay guys, so all six of the little candy corns are painted and they are ready to now be glittered. But look, aren't they even just cute this way? Yeah, they are, but I'm gonna make them cuter because I'm gonna add some a glitter. I'm going to be doing this with some Mod Podge. I don't know, this will take a couple of steps because um, I'm going to put the Mod Podge on, put the glitter on, and then let it dry, and then Mod Podge that glitter into place. So it will take a couple of steps, and I'm only going to do uh, one section at a time because I don't want the, uh, the glitter to mix. So we're just going to do one little section at a time. So for instance, I'm going to do the white all first, then I'll do the orange and then the yellow so it's very very easy just paint right over your white with the Mod Podge where you want the white glitter and I'm gonna set that aside because I'm gonna show you just on this one and then I'll do all the rest uh, and you won't have to be bored with that but I did want to show you this first section and we'll just sprinkle the glitter right on It's going to be so cute. So I'm going to let that dry really well and then I'll move on to the orange and then the yellow. So I did decide to go ahead and just kind of mix the glitter just a little bit because I wanted it to have just a little bit more um, glitter on it than just this one. So I did go ahead and add two types of glitter. So yeah, I'm much happier with that. Okay, now I'm ready to do the orange. And now for the yellow glitter. They're looking oh so cute. Okay, so now I'm just gonna cover all of the candy corn in some more Mod Podge. That way it'll seal that glitter on and it won't come off. Okay, now we'll just let this dry. And believe it or not, this is going to dry nice and clear and keep our glitter all in place. Okay, so now it's all dry and see the glitter stays on, it doesn't come off and it's still shiny and got lots of sparkle. But now I'm gonna go ahead and put the backing um, on the candy corn here. And see these, like I told you, this, this has a little peel and stick kind of situation. So I'm just gonna peel that backing off. Put on my piece of orange felt that I cut out at the beginning. And this is a little, probably a little bit bigger than it needs to be because um, when you trace around, you kind of are tracing the size of this. So this ends up being just a little bit smaller, but we're just gonna trim it up. So just taking a hole punch and making uh, the holes in uh, the little candy corns like this. I almost forgot to film this part, <laughs> but anyway, um, it's a little difficult because the cardboard is kind of kind of thick. But you know, it just keep working at it, and you'll get it. Also, going to be taking some ribbon and making our little ties to hang onto the tree. go now we could hang them up just like this because they are very cute but I'm gonna make a little bow and put her right there it's gonna be so adorable now I've got to make five more of these okay so I have all the little bows made I'm just gonna go ahead and just use a little bit of hot glue and glue them right into place Okay, so what do y'all think? I think it's oh so cute. Now we're gonna do the fun part and hang them on the Halloween tree. 
Okay, y'all, it's time to decorate the tree with the candy corn ornaments. I love them. I think they turned out so cute. What do you guys think of the candy corn ornaments? <laughs> I hope that it gives you guys some ideas on how to make some for your very own Halloween tree, if you have one. Uh, but anyway, so cute and adorable they are. And I like how big all these ornaments are. I wanted a bunch of big ones on the, on the tree instead of a bunch of little ornaments. So I think these are the perfect size. So anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye now.